Welcome back crafty friends. Today I am going to be sharing my experience um, using my scotch laminator for the first time. Um, it's heating up over there right now so I thought I would show you how I get my piece ready. Um, but again this is scotch laminator pack and it is sponsored. Um, I was chosen to be a chatterbox at the house party site and um, I got a free laminator and then one to give to a school or teacher. I'll link my original video below so you can kind of hear more about that and see my first thoughts about the laminator when I unboxed it. Um, so again, this is my first time in. Today I'm going to be laminating something. Here is the instructions, just I need to look over them, you know, quickly again. There wasn't much to it. Looks very user friendly. For today's project, I have recently given my daughter the responsibility of remembering some stuff on her own, um, like practicing her piano, reading, making her bed, that kind of stuff. So I thought I would make her a little weekly planner, like kind of a checklist where she could just mark off each day when she does something. And then I also, across the top, I have some of the things that just happen every day during the summer. So um, I made this on a table in Microsoft Word, and I just printed it out on 8.5 by 11. What I'm going to do, to make it a little bit pretty and fun, I'm going to cut a thin border around the black and white printed part, and then I'm going to cut this piece of paper back here to 8.5 by 11, and just put those all together before I laminate it. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, now my piece is ready to be laminated. Um, I have a laminating pouch here. This is an eight and a half by 11. So you really can't go any bigger than that because you need your, um, you need some space all the way around the piece that you're laminating for the lamination to seal. So let's see, I'm open this up maybe, there we go. All right. So you see one of these edges is sealed. One of the important things that I've been reading in my manual about the, about the laminator is that sealed edge always has to go in first and that you always need to have a sealed edge. So let's say my piece was only this big and I ran it through my laminator. Sorry, first I would have had a cut. Let's say I have a half sheet like this. Okay, let's say my piece would have been that big and I would have just cut off this extra lamination before I laminated it. You cannot then use those pieces because they're not sealed together at the front so they might get jammed up in your machine. So that is all ready to go. I'm gonna set the camera up by the laminator and we'll see how this works, friends. All right, so my laminator has been heating up, I would say for probably five to 10 minutes, just when I was kind of doing the little video before. Um, so I believe it's ready to go. The ready light has lit up here. Now, I have a three mil and a five mil option. In the instructions, it says the three mil is really just for just a sheet of printed paper. So like if I was only going to laminate that white part before I cut it out, I would probably use that three mil. But because I've added the pattern paper to the back, and it is a little thicker of a pattern paper, I am going to select my five mil when I run it through. I need to even that up a little bit. All right. So I think I'm just going to press the five mil button. 
and I think I can hear it moving. So we're going to see if this works. Again, this sealed edge has to go in first. It's pushing it into there, keeping it straight. There are some guides on that tray in the back. Yeah, okay. So the laminator has now grabbed the item from me. And you can see it just slowly moving through. Um, don't force it. You need to let it take its time so it can seal properly. And if it would get jammed up, there is a release button over here that you can use. Mm, it looks very nice coming out of there. You can tell it's sealed nicely because it's nice and clear now. So my plan for this is once it's printed out, my daughter can use a dry erase marker on it and we could just clean that off each week and then she can reuse it. So instead of printing out, you know, five or six of these for the rest of the summer, we can just have one. All right. Um, my first impressions, again, I can tell it's sealed very nicely. Um, you know, it's not coming apart or anything. I use kind of thin paper so now I see the pattern behind it, but that's not their fault. Um, the only thing is it's a little bumpy and I don't know, you know, I, I doubt that's going to hamper, you know, like the little check mark she's going to put on there. I don't know why it happened. Um, it's kind of like there's a bump every so often, but you know what? That worked great. That worked like a charm. There was no problems at all. Again, that was the very first time I had used this laminator. Um, it went very easy, so I'm sure my daughter is going to be excited to use her new um, checklist. Thanks so much for watching, friends. If you enjoyed this video, I'd appreciate a thumbs up below. Um, I'll be back, hopefully within a week, some more projects using the laminator. I'm going to do some gold foiling on there. Um, I hope you'll check back in. Subscribe if you would like to. I always love new subbies. Thanks. Bye-bye.